back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to change our clothes. <laughs> we are going to change our clothes, but also something cool has come up in the sales and the timing is almost perfect. Uh, but let's get our clothes changed first. All right, so what's something OG hasn't worn yet? I think we've worn that outfit. Well, something that's not going to look weird. Like, that looks weird. Um, I think we've worn that outfit before. Uh, whoops. I, I, I don't know. That's not doing it for me, man. I'll just be honest with you. It's not doing it for me. Uh, we could go with a case outfit. We could go with a cloth. He looks like he's ready to run a race or something. What is that? Strauss? There's a Fent outfit, but he looks more like a mechanic than a farmer wearing that. John Deere. Kubota. Massey Ferguson. We've worn this outfit before. I like that outfit, though. Uh, let's go case. All right, there we go. We are going to uh, be a case guy for a while. Um, we, ha we have a case header. I think that's the only case implement that we own there we go get that get that hand out of my face <laughs> um is our doppelganger og still over here he is and he's still wearing the john deere clothes i haven't actually shut the game <laughs> shut the game down uh since last time oh you know what we need some shades though yeah we're gonna we gotta put some shades on do that. I'm sure that whatever is causing an issue will go away once the I shut shut the game down. Um, how about those? Yeah, that looks good. I like it. Confirm. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay. Woohoo! All right, now um, check this out. I was planning uh, uh or I've no. I was planning on leasing these trailers, and I'm still going to, but one of them has come up for sale, so we're going to buy it. And that trailer happens to be the Cramp? Cramp? Crompe? Cramp? However you say that. Um, This is the largest base game trailer in the game that can haul anything. Uh, and it's also got a walking floor, too, which is kind of neat. And so, yeah, we're going to buy this, and then let's also give it Chrome wheels and then i'm also going to lease some more of these too uh for hauling day but yeah this is the largest base game uh trailer it holds a uh, 59.4 meters squared now there are some there are some auger wagons uh or chaser bins that hold more but none that i'm aware of that hold that can haul just about every product in the game uh, so this is a really super good trailer, and yeah, happy that we got it. We will need the fifth wheel uh, to haul it, and that's fine. So let's go ahead and buy this right now. And fantastic. There's also a little Pottinger forager wagon, but uh, and a and a smaller slurry tank. But both of you know, everything we have is is bigger than those two things, so we don't need those. All right, so that's really all I had to show you for September second. Uh, but I'm very happy that, that we were able to finally get one of these on sale because I haven't seen them come up in the sale very often. But really nice trailer. Way cool. All right. So let's um, move on into August 1st. So, yeah, I will bring you guys back uh, on August 1st. All right, guys. It's September 3rd. Uh, we got a couple of things we need to take care of before we go to August 1st. So I thought I'd just bring you back uh, for that. So first of all... Uh, this silage is taking a long time, and uh, if we want this to be ready for selling day, we're gonna we're definitely gonna have to step this up. Uh, so we are going to deactivate the two thousand and activate the five thousand. It goes up to twelve hundred dollars per month, but that's fine. Okay, so yeah, let's get that let's get that going, and then also uh, we need to feed our critters. Uh, our chickens and our sheep in particular, and while we're at it, we might as well feed the cows. I don't think this is a problem because it's just moving fabric into the warehouse and then immediately into 
the tailor. So as long as it's it's the clothes that are the, the important thing. As long as these things are continuing to produce, then we're good to go. Uh, all right, so let's hop over here. Uh, we'll top the cows off. I made a mixture not too long ago, so I think we'll have enough TMR in here to top these guys off. Yep, we do. Okay, so that takes care of the cows for now. And we need uh, to pull some grain out of our silo for the chickens, and we need to give the sheep some hay. So let's see. To do that, I guess we could we could test out our new trailer here. Um. So yeah, let's do that. Let's test out the new trailer. I wonder if I can even connect this. It might be too far back. Let's see. Yeah, no. Oh. Well, sort of. Not really, though. <laughs> Not ideal. Okay, yeah, we better, we better get the man out for this. I mean, we could make it work, but... You would, there's no way you'd be able to do that in real life, so. Okay. So here is the main truck. I sure like this truck, man. It has just been absolutely amazing. It used to be our 500 horsepower tractor until we bought the Fent. <laughs> and it still works pretty good for that too, if you have to use it. Which we did uh, for that a couple of cultivating uh, contracts. Um, oh. Where's the... Okay, hold on. Let me line up on this a little bit better. I thought I saw the trigger pop up, but then it wasn't attaching. There we go. That's better. Okay, so yeah, let's go get a little, a little bit of grain out of our silo here for our chickens. This will be the first time we've pulled anything out of our silo. I don't think I gotta open that up to pull anything out, do I? Nope. Okay, so we ha wanna pull out barley. Actually, hold on a sec though. How much do we need to pull out? Uh, you're gonna need 76, and you're gonna need 76. So we need 14, 15, one. We'll try and stop it as close to that as possible. Oh! Man, that was fast. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll be bringing some back now. That's fine, though. Yeah, these are really nice trailers. Might be a bit of a challenge getting it in there, though, because it's so long. All right. Get your mind out of the gutter, you guys. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I realized after I said that, it's like, oh, that didn't sound so good. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> How about the weather? <laughs> oh, boy. Can't take me anywhere. Uh, okay. Let's get this backed up. Okay, that one will be easy mode. Oh, the thing uh, hit the hit the shed there, or the, the little uh, storage bin. All right, can we get up in here to get this dropped off? I mean, if nothing else, we can drive across the ditch. We might have to, actually. Yeah, it's it's really tricky to get the spot here just because... I think it's because I'm so close to the other hen house that it messes it up a little bit. Oh, oh, right 
there. Okay, let's switch to that and I don't know if we can see the walking floor or not. No, we couldn't see it. Um, but these, can we get in there for a second? Yeah, those, those aluminum, aluminum plate kind of, you know, long plate thingies, the, those move back and forth and they, they, they walk the grain back. It's really kind of cool how that works. Uh, okay, so good. We got the chickens topped off and I think we are just going to go right across the ditch. <laughs> Let's go dump this back off, and then we need to bring some hay to the sheep. You know, next time I, I cut hay in the forage wagon, I should just pull the forage wagon up there and top them off with that. No reason why we can't do that. Does this thing have a cover? No, I don't think it does. Yeah, we just missed it. Okay. All right. So now we have another big, long trailer with no place to park it. Um, it might fit in the barn. How how far back is it? Is our other trailer here? Yeah, I don't know. We we I know I say this all the time, but we really need to think about getting another shed here. This is kind of long to be fitting in here anyways. It's about as long as the reefer is. Well, I guess for now, we'll just park it over by the flatbeds. Definitely not the kind of trailer you'd want to leave out in the weather, though, uncovered. So we'll just we'll just pretend that uh, we have a have a tarp that we put over the top of it. We're not using it for now until we can get it indoors. Man, I am uh, overcorrecting like crazy. So what else is new, right? Okay, that's pretty good. Very nice though. Very nice to have this have this trailer. I was hoping one would come up for sale. And, you know, we can use it for hauling grain off fields, the fields and stuff like that, too. Uh, okay, so what are we doing? Uh, we got to feed the sheep. Let's park the man and then we'll go get a, some bales and throw them at the sheep. Okay, I think that takes care of uh, all of our chores. Uh, the uh, dairy's doing pretty good for milk. We are going to be selling eggs in October. I did leave a few eggs out there, but we can pick them up later. Um, eggs, eggs, eggs. Yeah, October. Well, actually, no. November's just slightly better than October, so we'll probably. Wait until November so we can accumulate even more. That's fantastic.
this doesn't register the silage that we have stored in our fermenting silos. I think this is only what we have in our normal silo. So we have way more silage than that, that's for sure. Okay, so let's head right on into uh, August 1st. See you guys there. I just realized I said August 1st, but I meant October 1st. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look um, in the sales. Ooh, you know what? That's a nice trailer, too. Um, it's a sm one of the smaller trailers, but it's uh, it doesn't have a one of those stupid dollies on it. We don't really need it though. I mean, yeah, we've got the we got the Stroutman trailers, and we just bought that other uh, uh also cramp cramp or crampe or however you say that. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that, but yeah, we don't need this. Uh, even though it is a nice trailer. Uh, what's this? This is for slurry and digestate, but it's only 15,000 liters. And of course, we don't need a forwarder for logging. So, uh, all right. So we got lots of stuff that needs to happen here in October. Uh, first of all, we're going to have hay contracts, uh, baling contracts, and lots of harvesting contracts too. Uh, what is that? That's corn and that's sugar beets. <sighs> I mean, I guess we could do this. The thing is, is we're not going to get enough sugar beets from that field to to really matter that much. Uh, field 71 is doing hay this time instead of silage, but it does want to take it to animal dealer. Um, So, yeah, let's take that and let's borrow the items for it. Corn and sugar beets. Um, I don't know. I'll I'll think about it. See, the thing about these is, I, I I can just, you know, put workers on it with course play and not even really have to do much myself. So it might be worth doing. I don't know. Well, I'll have to think about it. No promises one way or the other. That's soybeans. That's cotton. All right. Um, let's look at the other. Oh, you know what? The other fields aren't coming up because I did them a month later. How interesting. Okay. There's some FERC contracts. Uh, we could maybe do this one. I'm just seeing if there's anything really big here. Plowing, sowing. Not really. Okay. I'll think about those other contracts. Um, I haven't really been doing fertilizer this year because I'm trying to hang on to my manure. And I'm, you know, I'm trying not to buy too much granular fertilizer. So, it, I mean, it would still definitely be profitable to do, but we'll just, we'll just wait on that. But we'll definitely do field 71. Okay. Now for the other really important thing we have to get done this month is we have to plow and replant field 70, uh, or sorry, 57, our big field. Um, so that's kind of the main thing that's got to happen this month. In addition to we'll sell the eggs, but we'll, we'll sell the eggs at the end of um end of october so we'll give them a couple more days before we do anything with that the greenhouses uh, are going to be fine on water and seed and there's man they are hardly consuming any manure at all it seems like they're consuming less manure than they did before i bought the new ones i'm not complaining about that mind you but it just i don't know it seems it seems weird uh, okay, so let's see. Close. I want to make sure that yeah, these are these are definitely building. Okay, so we're good there, and we're just about chocked full of wool in the factory, and then anything extra we can store for selling. All right, guys. So yeah, I think um, we're gonna hit field seventy-one, get that knocked out, and then. And then we need to plow 57 and replant some wheat in it. That's that's the goal. Oh, you know what? We never looked at finances for September. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so in September, we spent $62,165 because we bought that, uh, that, that nice trailer. And we spent $300,705 on construction costs. That's because we purchased the... Um, 
fermenting, or, or I'm sorry, the, the silage factory and did a little bit of landscaping. So yeah, big, big ticket item there, but definitely nice. $15,000 on vehicle running costs. My goodness, that was expensive. Uh, leasing costs for the stuff that we're currently leasing, which by the way, is all of this stuff. So, so we're leasing to own all of these items here in case uh, you didn't know what that all was. And let's see what else. Property maintenance, 22, 29 production costs. That, that's a little higher there. Uh, we only made $93,896 on our greenhouses, but part of that is my screw up because I let them run out of seeds and we were several hours, I think, without seeds. So that's why that number's a little bit lower, which was not very smart on my part, but, you know, live and learn, right? Just got to keep an eye on that. Uh, we made $9,570 on contracts, which was just a couple of cultivating contracts. We paid our workers almost $8,000, but, you know, we did a lot of haying. I don't know where the miscellaneous came from. Where is that coming from? $4,618 from miscellaneous. I wish, I, I wish, <laughs> I wish we knew what that was. I, I can't think off the top of my head what that was from. Eh, man, that's high. And we paid um, our distribution uh, for pallet distribution and, well, you know, for our greenhouse maintenance and whatnot, $5,549. Um, those are a little higher than what we used to do, but I'm okay with that. I, I think that's closer to being realistic. So we are sitting at $98,105 right now. So the money's a little bit on the low side, but definitely plenty of operating cash. And, you know, I'm expecting to have a nice, big, juicy payday uh, over the next few months. January is going to be the big one, of course. But we also we also have a lot of stuff that we're going to sell in December, too. So we'll, we'll make some bank in December as well. Uh, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to get Field 71 knocked down. I think I'm going to do it off camera this time because, you know, you guys have seen it a million times, right? Um, so we'll get field 71 done. And then when we're ready to start preparing field 57 for wheat planting, I'll bring you back, uh, and we'll, I'll show you uh, at least part of that process. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a while. All right, guys, we got, <coughs> excuse me, got exactly one trailer load of hay off of field 71 here. I don't see any more bales. So yeah, let's head back and unload this and then turn the contract in. Um, this Valtra tractor that the game is really cool. Listen to the rumble on the inside. <laughs> it's really cool, man. Uh, it looks really neat too. It's like a, like a race car tractor or something. Very high tech. Uh, don't quote me on this, but I think Valtra is made in Sweden. One of the one year one of the European companies, anyways. Um, but it's a really neat tractor. Very cool looking. Look at this thing. <laughs> Love it. Looks like the Batmobile. Um, yeah. So we got that knocked out fairly quickly. It didn't take too terribly long. Let's just deliver this hay to our barn, and that's several more feedings for the critters. Plus, we make 21000 and, and change off of this just for the money that we get paid. So, not too bad. There they go. Filled that barn up. All right. Okay. So, yep. Yeah, that wraps up um, 71. So, I am debating about something and that is I'm thinking about purchasing 56 if we do that we're going to have to take a loan though alright we don't have to wash or refuel any of this equipment because we just use it on the owner's own field uh, so let's turn in 71. We get 21,848 bucks from that. And that brings us up to 113,082. 
and a trailer load of hay. Uh, okay, so ugh, I'm really tired. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> but what I'm thinking about is let's bring up the farmland map. Think about purchasing. Um, well, this is actually 56. I don't know why. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't know why these numbers change when you're purchasing. Well, I know actually, you know what? I do know why they change because some fields are combined. You know, another weird thing I've been noticing since the uh, last update is little patches on the field that are, are not fertilized, which is really weird. Uh, and I can't roll over them either. So and I've never noticed that before until uh, until the update. Uh, the other thing, too, is I rolled 57 because that gives it a double application, and I'm hoping when I cultivate it, we'll, we'll be able to keep that double application. If not, then I rolled it for, for nothing, but, you know, hopefully it, it'll work. Anyway, um, I'm thinking about doing 56, and if we do, it's already got a wheat crop on it, but we could also, uh, we could also plow up all of this grassland, get rid of those trees and expand the field significantly and then leave a little bit of room at the very end here to put some more fermenting silos later on. Um, if I do that now, then I can, I can, can, you know, plant wheat in all of this area too and, you know, make it a significantly larger field. If I wait until next year and buy it right before the wheat harvest, then, you know, then I'm not getting anything, uh, getting the extra wheat that we would get from that. So that's kind of why I'm thinking about doing it. It's not super expensive. It's 266. So, you know, we'd have to take about 150,000 or some odd loan, which we'd be able to pay off, um, you know, definitely by the end of the year, if not even before then. But the other thing about that though, is that, you know, we still have one more hay cutting and I don't have any more room in my silo for the fourth hay cutting. I mean, that thing is chocked full. Our new silo is. So we got to get another one of those. Um, we have about 150,000 liters in, in our, one of our concrete stave silos, but that's not even going to be nowhere near enough to hold, you know, everything that we're going to harvest. So I got to think about that too. So I'm going to give that some thought. Um, but probably what we what we're gonna need to do is just get that next uh, f uh, silage factory. Because if I don't do that, you know, then I'm gonna have to probably make silage bales with the last cutting, which I kind of don't really want to do. I mean, we could, but you know. So anyway, I'll think about think about that. But I am going to. Uh, I'm going to cut the camera for you guys and be back in just a second for you guys. But for me in real life, I'm going to save the game, shut it off and go to bed because I'm really tired. And then I'll finish recording this episode to tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's Saturday. So I don't have to work and, uh, yeah, we'll do that. So anyways, I bid you all a good night and I'll see you in a second or for me in hopefully about eight hours or longer from now. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.